The Dry Steam GTS Gas to Steam Humidifier LX series has two features that are good to know early on for optimum space savings and the lowest installation cost. One is that it can be installed completely out of the way outside of the building in a weatherproof enclosure or indoors in a corner with only two-sided service access. And two, because this is a Category 4 appliance, a metal double-walled flue is not required. We'll discuss those installation pointers and several more, but first a word about the IOM. The IOM contains important safety and service information that are critical to a long, safe product life cycle. Please read it. And for everything you need to know about the controller and touchscreen display, please read the controller manual. Outdoor enclosures can be installed on a rooftop or on the ground. This one is getting slung to a mounting curb that DrySteam shipped earlier and the contractor installed ahead of time. Outdoor enclosures have heaters and fans that automatically maintain operating conditions. They are shipped completely assembled, including the humidifier inside, with easily accessible water, gas, and electrical connections from below. We'll install this indoor GTS LX50 in the corner of a mechanical room. If you need extra height for pitching the drain pipe or clearance for connections from below, consider the wall mount or floor stand options. For electrical power, provide separately fused electrical service to the terminal block shown here on the sub-panel. The controller runs on 24 volts AC and there are transformers on the sub-panel to step down the voltage. Next is piping. Notice that the piping overview drawings in the IOM have this note about dashed lines. In summary, pipes and tubing beyond the humidifier shroud are the installer's responsibility to have on hand. This humidifier is, by definition, a fan-assisted Category 4 condensing positive pressure appliance. The condensing designation is a reference to flue gas, which condenses in the cool flue and must be drained. Use flue condensate drain piping or tubing with a 5 8 inch inside diameter and rated for acidic condensate. If treatment is needed, DrySeam offers this condensate neutralizer kit. While gas piping instructions and safety precautions are beyond the scope of this video, here are a few pointers that are good to know up front. Gas piped to the humidifier must match the gas type indicated on the humidifier nameplate. Gas piping must be within the pressure, length, and diameter limitations shown in these tables in the IOM. Install a drip leg, a manual shutoff, and a ground angle threaded union in the gas line. Install a plugged tap upstream of the shutoff for connecting a test gauge. The supply water connection for all indoor models is a 3 8 inch pipe thread. For outdoor models, this side connection would be plugged at the factory, and the half inch connection on the bottom of this block would be available for connecting from below. Make a union connection at the humidifier, and install a shutoff valve in the supply water line. Do not use warm water and make sure the water pressure is 25 to 80 psi. Dry steam recommends a shock arrestor to prevent water hammer when the solenoid valve closes. Drain and overflow are piped through the same outlet in the drain manifold. The connection is a 1 inch pipe thread for all models. While all models are designed with built in drain water tempering, Dry steam recommends any non metallic drain line material be rated for at least 212 degrees Fahrenheit continuous operating temperature and large enough and pitched enough for a flow rate of 12 gallons per minute. Notice this air gap. It is required by code and must be at least one inch to create an opening to atmosphere between the humidifier tank and the wastewater system. Keep adequate distance between the humidifier and this air gap because as drain or skim water enter the drain, flash steam will rise and could saturate surfaces such as electrical components in the humidifier. The humidifier also has an auxiliary 3 quarter inch drain outlet located on or near the cleanout plate. This drain outlet can be hard piped during installation to enable rapid tank draining before maintenance. Install a union to facilitate removal of the cleanout plate. This connection can also be used to return condensate from the dispersion panel back to the humidifier. Flue venting can be installed through the roof or through a side wall. You can use PVC, polypropylene, or any other material approved for Category 4 appliances. 
At DrySteam, we use PVC because it's easy to work with and the least expensive material by far. Approved flue materials do not include Category 1 flue material used for DrySteam's previous generation of GTS humidifier. A separate flue vent for each humidifier must be installed and must terminate outdoors with no common connection to any other appliance. GTS LX series can accept either sealed combustion or room air combustion, depending on the installation. If room air is used, install two 90 degree elbows to prevent things from blocking or falling into the air intake. Sealed combustion brings air directly to the unit from outdoors. Reference the IOM for length and size of sealed combustion piping. Models up to LX150 have a 2 inch steam outlet with either a hose connection or a threaded pipe connection. All of the larger models have 3 or 4 inch steam outlets with either bolted flange connections or a threaded pipe connection. DrySteam recommends that all steam tubing and pipe be insulated but steam hose should not be insulated. To avoid damage to the humidifier tank, all piping between the humidifier and dispersion must be supported with pipe hangers. We made this video because we think knowing a few things ahead of time will make your humidifier installation go smoothly. Please keep your IOM handy and see our website for the most up-to-date product information. Thank you for watching.